Now, a few weeks ago, I talked about how much to feed your cat, and today I wanna to talk about how often to feed your cat. I think the best way to approach this is what would the cat do in his natural habitat? So we have to understand that cats are both predator and prey out in the wild. Just think of birds of prey that hunt small animals on the ground. So for cats, they typically will hunt at dawn and dusk because it's still kind of dark out so they can hide from their predators, but because of their eyes, they can reflect light and bounce that back so that they can see better. And that's also when their prey are most active at dawn and dusk because their prey also have to worry about those birds of prey. And with their additional vision, they also have really good hearing. So, and then they have their whiskers that help them feel if prey is near them. So they have all of these physical attributes that help them hunt in, even though it's dimmer, dimmer lighting and dimmer settings. Now I used to feed three times a day and I've actually transitioned to two times a day. I don't know, I just personally think that this makes more sense just doing in the a.m. and in the p.m. because the third meal was only about an hour and a half after the second meal, so it's kind of like, what's the point of breaking it up? I don't know, that's just what works for me. So now the, the sunrise and sunset are changing and we're gonna change the clocks next month, but what I'm doing now is feeding Jericho at 6.30 in the morning and 6.30 p.m. And that's about the time where I live when the sun rises and when the sun sets. Now, I don't know if I'm going to continue to transition to you know, when the sun rises in the winter and when the sun sets in the winter. I don't know, maybe I will. But I kind of like to keep it about 12 hours apart because it's even and I've found that when I do it this way, Jericho also uses the bathroom at the same time so that stays consistent as well. Now he does have a an afternoon snack. At noon, I give him some treats. So I use freeze-dried treats, I use beef spleen, and then a combination of beef, meat, and organs. And I break them up into tiny pieces and hide them on jar lids around the apartment. That way he can hunt around and kind of break up the day. And they're very, very tiny, tiny pieces, so it's not like a full meal. And so I do that because it provides mental stimulation so, and kind of simulates the hunting experience. I don't hide his actual meals around the apartment because it's all wet and mushy and stuff. So I get the mental stimulation and the hunting experience that way when I hide the treats around the apartment. And I also split up his morning and night meals evenly, like ounces that he eats. I just split it in half. What he eats in the morning and what he eats at night are about the same. When I portion his meals, it's all in one container, so I kind of just split it in half and feed one in the morning and one at night. And if you're wondering how much to feed your cat, check out this video right over Mia. There's no magic number. I can't just tell you feed X amount. You have to use those three things in that video. Thank you so much for watching.